you can harvest energy from uh, VHF, UHF TV channels. Uh, it's quite significant. You could have uh, harvesting even a distance of 6.5 to 8 kilometers away from the TV stations and still being able to uh, activate wireless sensor modules, wireless sensor nodes. Uh, you can also harvest energy from a radio, FM radio and so on. And in addition to this, uh, especially in indoor environments, you may be able to utilize on top of this some um, Wi-Fi energy. So I would say we're very close uh, to uh, harvest energy over numerous practical applications to power up electronic systems. This one also could be quite uh, useful even to minimize the health effect. So instead of allowing significant amount of electromagnetic energy around us, you would utilize these systems as electromagnetic quote quote vacuum cleaners. So collect lots of stray energy and utilize it for uh, positive uh, purposes. So reduce health effects and also power up virtually every wireless sensor node. Uh, you can have a uh, lot of, uh, as we call, smart skin applications. You could have autonomous temperature and humidity applications for a better energy usage for AC systems. You could have uh, uh, very low cost gas sensors. So for early detection of carbon monoxide, protect yourself from poisonous gases. Uh, you can also have some uh, structural health monitoring sensors. So you can have some uh, very low cost sensors to monitor the structural health of a building after an earthquake. And uh, last, you could have also uh, sensors for quality of life, which means uh, autonomous sensors for quality of water monitoring and also for uh, perishable material storage monitoring to figure out if the food we have at home are stored uh, safely and so on. So a variety of quality of life applications could be powered up by this type of application. Virtually every sensor for home appliance uh, could be utilized. In addition, uh, you could utilize them for health applications. So uh, if you are at home and you would like to monitor your uh, electrocardiograph, ECG, or you want to monitor glucose if you have diabetes, or uh, blood pressure, or some uh, proteins, or even for senior people assisting, so if there is an old person at home alone and you want to monitor your health and avoid having some deadly stroke or health effect or even avoid having this old person fall down without any help, you can power up these health monitoring sensors very, very effectively without the need for cables, without the need for batteries and very easy to integrate with typical uh, clothes or textiles. Typical sensors for this type of applications cost between uh, 10 to $1,000, which means 30 to 3,000 solas. Now, utilizing things you printed on paper or these substrates, uh, the cost will be, by, will be lowered by a factor of 10 to 100. So you are talking about a fraction of solas in order to have the same type of sensors that are today very, very expensive.